Barack at the Ahawa, Barack at the Ahawa Shai, Barack at the Ahawa, Barack at the Ahawa Shai, Kohala, Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shai, Bashin of Kakadash. All right, Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai, that's the name of the Beloved Son of the Heavenly Father. Bashin of Kakadash, which means in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and who has taught us this truth. Shalom wa Barakim, Lahabakarim, which means please, uh, peace and blessings to the elect. And Lord's will, this video is edifying. And uh, I'm going to start. This is the book of Ephesians, the second chapter, and the first verse. Ephesians 2 and 1. It says, And you have he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. All right. Who quickened us? Yahweh Shai. Okay. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. And quicken means to be made alive. All right. So the Lord gave us life. Because once we were dead in trespasses and sins, all right, we were dead, all right, because we didn't know the way of the Lord, all right, and we were sinners. We were out here doing all types of iniquity, all right. Some brothers, we most brothers were getting their head lined up, you know. Some brothers ate abominable foods like pork and shrimp and things of that nature, so on and so forth, okay. But the Lord, he had mercy upon us. He quickened us, all right. But let's get this. This is Proverbs 21 and 16. It says, The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Okay? And we'll go ahead and get the Hebrew word real quick. All right. All right. And we'll go ahead and get the way. All right? And the word for the way is a da, ra, and a ka. All right, the rock. All right, way, path, journey. Okay. So the scripture says, Proverbs twenty one sixteen, the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding, because when you come into this faith, you're now on a course, you're on a journey or a path. All right, the rock. All right, and you're on a path to righteousness. You're on a path to path to life, immortality. You're on a path to life. Okay, but the scripture says, the man that wandereth out of the way. So you fall off that course. All right. A man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. All right. Meaning that you're dead. You're not physically dead. All right. But you're spiritually dead. Okay. And soon you're going to physically die. Okay. Now, this is the book of John. Chapter 6, verse 63. All right. Cause this is how the Lord, uh, this is how the Lord resurrected us from the dead. This is how the Lord uh, quickened us. The John six and sixty three it says it is the Spirit that quickeneth. Again, quickeneth means to make alive. All right. Before we came into this faith, before we learned of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we did not, we were not alive. We didn't know the ways of life. Now the Lord has put us on a path in the course of immortality, on the path of life. All right. It is the Spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. So these, the, the works and the deeds of the flesh, they profit nothing. All right? All the things that we were doing in the world, okay? Chasing after women, you know, working out. Working out, it profited little, like the scriptures say, but it's still a deed of the flesh. It's not going to give you salvation. All right? It's not going to uh, teach you how to do the things that are pleasing unto our power. Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shai. All right? Working these different jobs. So on and so forth. It says the flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Okay? But these words, they give us life, man. All right? It is the spirit in his life. These, these words give us life. These, these words revitalize us. Okay? And that's what the Lord said he was, what, that he was coming to do. All right? That he's going to come and he was going to give life unto the nation of Israel. This is Isaiah chapter 57. And verse 15, it says, For thus saith the high and lofty one. Who's the high and lofty one? That's the heavenly father, Yahweh, the most high. Okay, and the heavenly father, Yahweh, the most high, all right, he raised up Yahweh Shai, his only begotten, all right? And through Yahweh Shai, that's how the rest, that's how, starting with the elect, that's how the nation of Israel is going to live. That's how they're going to be uh, set up, all right? For thus saith the high and lofty one. That inhabiteth eternity, because the Most High, he lives forever. All right? Whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place. With him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit. So the meek and the lowly. 
all right, the broken down, all right, that's whom the Lord is dealing with, all right, that's who the Lord uh, dwells with, all right, it says to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones, all right, Rive, revive means to make alive, all right, to quicken, the Lord is going to revive those that are humble, all right, now if we go into the word revive, it's chaya, which means life, okay, the Lord gave life unto those men, all right, that believe on him, okay? Now, I'm going to go back to Ephesians 2, read some more of that, all right? This is Ephesians 2 and 1, it says, And you have he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. We were once dead in the world, not knowing the ways of the Heavenly Father, all right? But now the Lord has quickened us, revived us, made us alive, all right? Through learning of Yahweh Shai, hearing this word. It says, where in time past, he walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, because Satan, all right, it, it, it is, uh, is the end all be all in this world, because what? Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, all right? The wicked is in a position of rulership, so the, the course of this world is evil, all right? The course of this world is sin, Okay? And it says what? The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Because the two-thirds of our nation that's going to be cut off and die, all right, they are the children of disobedience. All right. They don't have a covering over their over their deeds, over their sins. All right. Yahweh Shah's blood covers our deeds. Okay, that we once did. All right. When we were dead in in, in, in the world. All right. Verse 3, it says, Among whom also we all had our conversation. See? We all had our conversation once. Conversation means, uh, it means conduct. We were once in the world like the two-thirds are in the world. All right? It says, among whom also we had our conversation in times past and the lusts of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. Because if you're going after your own mind, the scriptures say, there's a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof, are the ways of death. So if you're going um, according to your own mind, fulfilling your own lust, all right, that makes you a children of wrath, a child of wrath, because what? The Lord's wrath and his indignation is about to come upon this planet Earth and it's come upon all the children of disobedience, which is another title for the two-thirds, and also the children of wrath, which is also another title for the two-thirds, all right? It says, but the heavenly Father who was rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, have quickened us together with Hamashiach by grace, you are saved. You see? But the Heavenly Father who is rich in mercy. All right, let me go ahead and get a quick precept real quick. This is Psalms uh, 10, I believe 103 and verse 11. It says, for as, as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. So just as how much higher the heaven is over the earth. All right. That's how great the, the mercy of the Lord is toward those that fear him, those that fear and, and reverence and have love for Yahweh Hashim Yahushai. Okay? So that's why even though we were in the world, okay, in times past, all right, doing wicked deeds, the Lord still quickened us. He still gave us this truth, the understanding of these words. All right? So this is Ephesians 2 and 4. It says, But the Heavenly Father, who is rich in mercy, for great for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, have quickened us together with Hamashiach by grace, you are saved. All right. So through Yahweh Shai, all right, the Lord by the Lord quickened us, he made us alive. He raised us up from the dead, essentially. It says, it says, quicken us together with Yahweh Shai, because we know that Yahweh Shai actually was quickened. He was actually raised from the dead. Okay. But the Lord did that to us spiritually. We were we, we were once in a dead state of mind. And now the Lord has uh, given us life. We're alive again. Okay? This is uh, the book of Colossians chapter 3, verse 1. It says, If ye then be risen with Yahweh Shai, seek those things which are above where Yahweh Shai sitteth on the right hand of the Most High. You see, if ye be risen with Yahweh Shai, all right, and, and how are we risen with Yahweh Shai? We have the book, 
All right, we have yet the book of life. Okay, the scriptures say in Hebrews and also in Psalms, all right, I come in the volume of the book, all right, it is written of me. Okay, and that's speaking of Yahweh Shai. This book, it, it, it speaks of Yahweh Shai. Okay, and that's how we're risen with Yahweh Shai. Okay, and if we be risen with Yahweh Shai, it says, seek those things which are above where Yahweh Shai sitteth on the right hand of the Most High. We're supposed to be kingdomly minded. We're supposed to be meditating and focusing on the things in which the Lord has promised to us. The kingdom of heaven, all right, being established on earth. All right, these other nations going into slavery. Okay, the planet earth being uh, cleaned up and cleansed again. Okay, verse 2, it says, set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. So you're not supposed to be... Set, we're not supposed to be setting our affections on the things that we see right now, whether it be uh, a woman, whether it be a job, whether it be different activities that you like to do. All right, we can't get attached to these things because we understand that it's temporal. All right, but the things to come, the things that we're going to receive, that's immortal. All right. It says, for, your, for ye are dead and your life is hid with Hamashiach in the Mosai. So we're supposed to... When you come in this truth, though we're alive, though we're freed mentally, because it says the truth shall set you free, all right, we're still uh, suffering, all right, we're still waiting to receive glory, all right, when the Lord returns. Verse 4 says, When Yahweh Shai, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. See, when the Lord returns, all right, everything's going to come full circle. We're going to actually receive immortality. Because even though we have. The words of life, the words of immortality, we're still in these bodies that are bodies of death. And we're still in these bodies that go off. All right. But when the Lord returns, okay, we're also, when he returns in his glorious body, okay, he's going to deliver us from these bodies, give us glorious bodies, and we're going to actually live. Okay. We're going to actually truly live. Okay. But the Lord has already uh, given us life through these words. And I'm going to end it on that. Lord's will is to edify a video. Call the law. Yahweh, Bashin, Yahweh, Shai, Bashin, Rukah, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and others of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the sincere Akim, the sincere laborers out there that's hoping on the salvation of our Lord. Shalom.